this Powell on direct, it was, I think you said a couple of different things with respect to Riley grabbing the gun. I want to ask you some questions about that, okay? Okay. Um, I believe when the state first asked you, you said you don't know if Riley grabbed the gun. You remember saying that? No. You said, I don't think Riley grabbed the gun. That's what you said. Okay. You said, you testified, you think you could see the gun the whole time. That's what you said? Okay. Now, you testified a lot about the relationship you had with Bill. You testified you met Bill in August of 2019. Mm -hmm. Is that a yes? Yes. But that's not actually the first time you met him, met him, right? Oh, no. You met him many years earlier. Yes. When Bill was a police officer. Yes. You didn't have a romantic relationship back then? No. But you met him? Yes, I didn't remember meeting him. He told me about it. And then when you took the trip to Florida, that's when you got to know him a little better? Yes. You took a road trip to Florida regarding the animals? Yes. And you testified that at the time you knew Bill was married? Yes. To April? Mm -hmm. Yes. And that April was okay with that relationship? Yes. With your and Bill's relationship? Yes. In fact, April participated in your relationship? Yes. And you and April got along fine? Yes. It worked for all three of you? Yes. You testified that Riley spent a lot of time with Bill? Yes. Bill cared about Riley? Yes. You recall an incident regarding some tennis shoes? No. You don't recall when Bill bought Riley some tennis shoes? No. You said Riley was in Bill's car a lot? Yes. But not after you guys were robbed? No, I don't think so. Now, you testified that you suspected Riley was involved in the burglary of the animals? Yes. And the theft of the guns? Yes. That's because the day before you discovered things were missing, there was an incident at your apartment. Yes. Riley had come over to your apartment? Yes. Riley wanted to come inside your apartment? Yes. And that's the apartment over on Main Street? Yes. You told Riley at that time he couldn't come inside? I don't remember. You spoke with the police a number of times, right? Yes. About this case? Yes. And you told the police everything that you remembered? Yes. And you spoke to the police many years ago? Yes. Shortly after this incident happened? Yes. You'd agree your memory was better then than it is now? Probably. Because a lot of time has passed since this incident. Right. I'm going to show you a video. And does that appear to be you in this video? Yes. And that's you speaking with a police officer? Yes. Is that marked in some fashion? Yes, it is going to be on Exhibit 25 entitled Axon 12, or 12 Axon. Thank you. Proceed. And so I'm going to play a short clip of this. And we're gonna start at 21 minutes and 43 seconds. And we'll turn it up before we hit play. Um, Riley 
And we'll stop right there at 21 minutes and 48 seconds. Did you hear that okay? Yes. That was you telling the police officer you told Riley he couldn't come in? Yes. But Riley came inside your apartment anyways? Yes. And that had something to do with COVID, right? Yeah. But you were afraid of COVID at that time? Yes. And you liked to wear a mask at that point? Yes. And Bill respected that and always wore a mask? Yes. But when Riley came over, he wasn't wearing a mask? No. And that's why you didn't want him to come inside? Probably. And at some point, Bill told Riley to leave after he had come inside? Yeah. And at that point, Riley wanted to fight Bill? Yeah. He started yelling at Bill? Yeah. He started threatening Bill? Yeah. And that was the day before you discovered that the things were stolen from you? Yeah. You testified that there were two different thefts or thefts at two different locations. Yeah. That the animals had been taken from Bill's house on East Road. Yeah. And the animals had a special area they stayed on at East Road. Yeah. It was a shed, right? Right. And that shed had two different rooms in it. Yeah. For different types of reptiles. Yes. Climate controlled. Yes. Special enclosures for the reptiles. Yes. And those reptiles were taken from that shed. Right. And that, when you discovered those reptiles were taken, you discovered the firearms had been taken from Bill's car. Yeah. And Bill's car was parked on Main Street. Right. Or I think behind Main Street in that alleyway. Yes. Because the alleyway is where you get into your apartment. Yes. Bill's car was parked right there. Yes. And you discovered two guns were taken. Yes. One gun you mentioned was in the glove compartment? Uh, in the center council. In the center council. So a gun was stolen from the center council? Mm -hmm. yes. yes. And that was a handgun? Mm -hmm. Yes. You'd seen that handgun before? Yes. It's not as big as a shotgun? No. It's a handgun. It fits in your hand. Right. There was another handgun that was taken? Yes. That was actually in a lockbox? Yes. Underneath the passenger seat? Yes. And that lockbox was connected to a cable? Yes. But the cable had been cut? Yes. That's why Bill knew it had to have been somebody that knew where that gun was. Right. And had come prepared to take that gun. Right. And again, that was right after that incident at your apartment with Riley? Yes. Now you testified that after you discovered these things were missing, you and Bill started to try to track down the animals. Right. I think your testimony was you went around town asking people about them. Yes. Driving around on the street. Yes. Asking different people on the street. Yes. People that you knew. Yes. And you testified that you suspected that it was Riley. Yes. And before the evening of October 19, you had asked Riley about the animals. Yes. You and Bill actually went to Riley's apartment. Yes. His apartment on Mill Street. Yes. And that's when you asked Riley about the animals. Yes. And he denied that he had taken the animals. Yeah. Bill didn't threaten Riley at that point? No. Bill didn't hurt Riley at that point? No. Bill didn't pull a gun in on Riley at that point? No. But you both went over there because you suspected that Riley was involved? Yes. Now, earlier in the night on October 19th, 
you were over at Bill's house on East Road. Yes. Bill was there. Yes. You were there. Yes. Rowan, <coughs> excuse me, Rowan was there. Yes. April was there. Yes. It's not uncommon for Rowan and you to come over to Bill's house on East Road. Mm, no. Not uncommon for Rowan to spend the night at Bill's house on East Road. No. And Rowan had a bedtime at that point. Yes. Do you remember what time his bedtime was? Nine o'clock. <laughs> and before you guys left, Rowan was getting ready for bed. Yes. And you left shortly before Rowan's bedtime. Yes. And Rowan was inside getting ready for bed. Yes. Now at some point when you were on East Road, you received some messages from Mackenzie. Yes. Mark Exhibit 72, you recognize those, correct? Yes. Those are messages on your phone? Yes. Messages from Mackenzie? Yes. And you received those when you were on at Bill's house on East Road? Yes. And in those messages, Mackenzie indicated she had heard Riley was going to rob Bill. Yeah. And that's when you told her you were already robbed. Yeah. And Mackenzie had been Riley's girlfriend at some point. Yes. Mackenzie told you after you said you had already been robbed that it was your son, Riley. Yes. Yeah. There had been people asking for a ride. Yes. A ride. <coughs> from Mackenzie's sister? Yes. Mackenzie's sister, Madison? Yes. A ride to go rob Bill? Yes. You testified that you really got to know Bill in August of 2019. Yes. And in the time that you knew Bill, Bill always carried a gun. Yes. Bill always had a gun in his car. Yes. You knew Bill to have two handguns. Yes. The two that were kept in his car. Yes. You didn't know Bill to have any other handguns. No. After the handguns were stolen, that's when Bill started to carry the shotgun. Yes. And that's when he kept the shotgun in the car. Yes. He had the shotgun in the car routinely in the week after his handguns were stolen. Yes. You saw the shotgun in the car? Yes. And I think you testified the shotgun was kept in the back seat. Yes. And so it wasn't until, I think you said, after the handguns were stolen that Bill put the shotgun in the car. Right. And the shotgun was in a case? Uh, no. It was just laying out there? Yes. He had a case for it? Yes. A sleeve for it? Right? Yes. A white sleeve? Okay. Maybe not a case, but a covering to it? Right. 
And after Bill discovered the handguns were stolen, Riley was never in the car after that point. Yeah, he was. You testified on direct that he was never in the car after the handguns were stolen. Oh, he was. Uh, we went to question uh, somebody, and he came with us the day that the day that we found out that they were stolen. The on October fifteenth. Yeah. You just remembered that now. Yeah. You never told the police that. Mm -hmm. Right. Right. You never mentioned that on direct examination. In fact, when you were asked on direct examination, was Riley ever in the car, you said he wasn't in the car after the handguns were stolen. Mm -hmm. That was your testimony? Yes. At some point, you and Bill went to Tara's house. Yes. And Tara lives on Van Street? Yes. You knew where she lived? Yes. You'd been there before? Yes. You went there earlier, you actually followed Tara into her driveway? Yes. You parked all the way back at the end of her driveway by the garage? Yes. And then you went into Tara's house with Bill? Yes. You were asking about the animals? Yes. Asking if they had any information about the animals? Yes. And you said Daisha provided you some information? Yes. And ultimately, you left at some point from Tara's house. Yes. Before you left, you told Tara you would be back. Uh, I don't remember, but... You're not disagreeing that you told Tara you would be back? No. And then you and Bill drove to Main Street? We went to Walgreens. You went to Walgreens and then Main Street? Mm hmm so your testimony today is after you left Tara's house, you went to Walgreens? Yes. Do you remember what Walgreens you went to? The one in Wapaka. Do you remember which one in Wapaka? Is there more than one? I don't think so. Okay. And is that over, do you remember where about in Wapaka that is? Uh, down Fulton Street, I think. Not close to Main Street? No. It would take you some time to get to Walgreens from Tara's house? Uh, about five minutes. And then from Walgreens to Main Street, it would take you a couple more minutes? Yeah. Then you went to Main Street after Walgreens? Yes. That's your testimony here today? Yes. And when you got to Main Street, there was a police officer there? Yes. Or the police officer got there after you arrived? Yes. And you spoke with that police officer? Yes. After you spoke with the police officer, Bill got back in the vehicle? Yes. And Bill made a phone call? Mm, I don't remember. And at some point, Bill started to drive the car? Yes. And as he was driving, is that when Danielle called? Yes. And Danielle called Bill's phone. Uh, I think so. And then Bill actually handed the phone to you to answer? Yes. And that's when you spoke with Danielle? Yes. Danielle said she had Angela on the line? Yes. And you spoke with Angela? Yes. And while you were talking to Angela, Bill was driving? Yes. And you don't know where Bill was driving? No. He ultimately started to drive down School Street? Uh, I don't remember. You were on the phone? Yes. With Angela? Yes. Finding out information about the animals? Yes. That created some emotion in you? Uh, yes. You weren't really paying attention to Bill driving? No. You don't know where Bill was driving to? No. But you were generally going in the direction of Van Street? Uh, yeah. And Tara lives on Van Street? Yes. 
So as Bill was driving down School Street, driving towards the direction of Tara's house. Yeah. When you were speaking to Angela, you had never been to Angela's house before. No. You knew generally where Angela lived? No. Bill knew generally where Angela lived? Yeah, maybe. You knew it was somewhere outside of Wyawega? Yeah. But you didn't know the actual address? No. At some point during that phone call, Angela gave you the address? Yes. And at some point during that phone call, you told Angela you had to call the police? Yes. Angela told you not to call the police? Yes. She said the police were already at her house earlier? Yes. And she didn't want trouble. She didn't want the police back. Right. You testified that while driving, you saw Riley walking down School Street. Yes. And he was walking sort of northwest on School Street. Yes. And this was late at night? Yes. It was after 10 o'clock at night? I'm not sure. It was October? Yes. It was dark outside? Yes. You said you saw Riley? Yes. When you saw Riley, Bill didn't say anything about needing to find Riley? No. Bill didn't say anything about wanting to find Riley? No. Bill's demeanor didn't change? No. When you left Main Street, Bill didn't have any intention to hurt Riley? Objection. Sustain. When you left Main Street, Bill didn't say anything about Riley when you left? No. Bill didn't say anything about wanting to hurt Riley? No. Bill didn't say anything about using the gun on Riley? No. You never heard Bill threaten Riley? No. Now, ultimately, you said Bill turned down to Van Street? Yes. And drove all the way to the end of Van Street? Yes. There's a street light at the end of Van Street? Yes. And Bill parked on the side of the road right there? Yeah. That's right in front of Tara's house? Yes. And then Bill got out of the car? Yes. And you got out of the car? Yes. And that's when you saw Riley run? Yes. Riley was running towards the car? Yes. Riley threw up his jacket? Yes. Riley wanted to fight Bill? Yes. Riley started yelling at Bill. Yes. Riley was yelling about the police. I don't remember. We'll pull up a video for you. And this is again on Exhibit 25, 12 Axon. In, in just a moment, can the clerk Raise the volume now. This, I couldn't hear at all what was played before. And I'm going to start playing at six minutes and fifty two seconds. Okay. And we'll stop right there at six minutes and thirty six seconds. Oh, 56 seconds. Were you able to hear that, Ms. Yes. Powell? That was you telling the police that Riley was yelling about the police? Yes. In fact, the police being at his house earlier? Yes. And then Riley started to come at Bill? Yes. He started coming at Bill like he was going to attack Bill? Yes. At some point, Riley tried to swing at Bill. I think so. You think so? You're not sure? I'm not sure. Okay, we'll play a little clip for you. (coughs) 
and same exhibit will start at eight minutes and 57 seconds. Like what was he doing? Like we'll stop at that nine minutes and two seconds. You were able to hear that? Yes. That was you telling the police officer that Riley tried taking a swing at Bill? Yes. At some point, Bill had the shotgun? Yes. I think your testimony was you don't know when Bill got the shotgun? No. But after Bill got the shotgun, Riley went at him. Yes. Riley went at him and the gun went off. Yes. Objection. She can answer if she can. Yes. Now I'm going to pull up the very end of the doorbell video that we watched a little bit ago. So this is after at some point Bill had got the gun? Yeah. Okay, and we're gonna play this to the end. And we're gonna stop at this point. At, at this point you were able to watch the video? Yes. And you still have the shotgun in your hand? Yes. And you're walking towards the vehicle? Yes. And that's when you testified Riley got in the vehicle? Yes. And you mentioned on direct that right or that Bill kept a lot of stuff in his vehicle? Yes. Knives? Yes. And so Riley went into the driver's side? Yes. And both you and Bill started to go towards the vehicle? Yes. We'll continue to play. And we'll stop right there. At that point, we saw that Bill took the shotgun back from you, right? Yes. And Riley got out of the vehicle? Yes. And you're sort of near the back of the vehicle? Yes. Okay, we'll continue to play a little bit more. And we'll stop. So you can see the flashlight on the shotgun? Yes. And you can see that the flashlight is pointed towards the ground? Yes. And that's Riley sort of walking closer to Bill? Yes. And Bill's not pointing the shotgun at Riley? No. And in fact, it kind of looks like he's backing up? Yeah. Okay, we'll play some more. And we'll stop right there. So that was Bill walking and then bending down to pick something up. Yes. And Riley coming coming towards him. Yes. And Bill still has the shotgun in his hands. Yes. And the shotgun, we can actually see the flashlight pointed towards the ground. Yes. And the flashlight's pointing where the gun is pointing, right? Right. And so Bill's actually still pointing the gun on the ground. Right. He's not pointing it at Riley? No. Okay, we'll continue to play that. And we'll stop right there. So now Bill's sort of behind the vehicle. Right. And he's still pointing the shotgun on the ground. Yeah. He's not pointing the shotgun at Riley. No. Okay, and we'll play it one last second. And that's where that video ends. Yes. And so Bill sort of, and we'll, we'll just bring it to the very last portion of this. So that's where the video ends. Bill still has the shotgun pointed towards the ground. Right. And then Riley is on the other side of you away from Bill. Yeah. And so you're facing Riley at that point. Yeah. 
And at that point is when Riley went at Bill. Yes. And then the gun went off. Yes. So when Riley went at Bill from that position, you had to turn around and look. Yeah. And the way you were facing would have been facing towards Tara's house. Yeah. And that's the same way Riley would have been facing to go at Bill. Yeah, I think so. So Riley's back would have been to you? Yeah. You couldn't see the front of Riley? No. We talked about that when Bill was driving sort of in this direction, you had been on the phone? Yes. And again, you were on Bill's phone? Yes. After the gun went off, Bill told you to call 911? Yes. And you had Bill's phone? Yes. You had to go inside the car to get Bill's phone? Yes. And then you found Bill's phone? Yes. In the car? Yes. You dialed 911? Yes. And then you handed the phone back to Bill? Yes. And Bill spoke to 911? Yes. Your Honor, may I approach? You may. Tiffany, I'm handing you what's been marked exhibit number 15, and I'll take back this exhibit. That's a phone call log that I handed to you. And it's Bill's phone log. Can you look at the second call from the very top? Do you see that? Yes. That's the phone call to 911? Yes. That would have been when you dialed 911? Yes. On Bill's phone? Yes. And then handed the phone to Bill? Yes. And it has the date that that phone call was made? Yes. October 19th of 2020? Yes. And it has the time that that phone call was made? Yes. And that says 10, 20, and 3 seconds p.m.? Yes. Can you see that okay? Yes. And so I wrote 10, 20, and 3 seconds p.m. Bill speaks to 911? Yes. And that's accurate based on what we just talked about? Yes. Yes. 
you pled guilty to a lesser crime? Yes. You were sentenced to prison? Yes. And that's where you are? Yes. Prison's not a fun place to be? No. You don't plan on moving for several years? Correct. That's not the first time you've been convicted of a crime? No. You've been convicted 14 times? Yes. I have no further questions at this time. Do you expect your redirect to be lengthy or? No, Your Honor. Redirect then. You were present when um, Bill called 911? Yes. I'm going to play that call and it will be on State's Exhibit 14. It's labeled 911 call. Bill's charging Riley. And what I see on that video is that Bill is trying to catch Riley, not that Riley's trying to catch Bill. Your Honor, objection, the prosecutor is testifying. Rephrase your question. Do you see Riley attacking Bill or Bill attacking Riley? Bill attacking Riley. Riley runs away from Bill, isn't that true? Yes. And you said Riley got in the car? Yes. 
How long was he in the car? Uh, not long. Second? He, yeah, he was acting like he was going to take it, but he can't drive stick. So that's a, a manual transmission. Mm -hmm. He had been in the car before, though. Yeah. Did he even try to put it into gear? I don't think so. Did you ever see the taillights come on while Riley was in the car? No. Now, at this time, when the guns pointed at the ground, you testified that you were standing between Bill and Riley. Yes. And I thought Mr. Hogan asked you if you were facing Riley or if you were facing Bill. And I, I wasn't sure of your answer. Uh, I was facing Bill, I think. It, it, we can't, can you tell from the picture? No. So, if you were facing Bill, were you protecting Riley? Uh, I don't, I don't know. Well, it, Riley was behind you. Yeah. So at that point, if Bill had raised the gun, it would have been pointing at you. Right. Because you were standing in front of Riley. Is that correct? Correct. Now, my recollection, when I asked you if Riley was ever in the car after the theft of the animals, <clears throat> you said you weren't sure. Right. But since then, you remembered an incident when he was in the car. Yes. When the gun was in the car, was it always in a case, or was it sometimes just open in the car? Sometimes it was just open in the car. <laughs> when you stopped the car on Van Street, you knew where the animals were. Yes. Anything further, Mr. Hogan? Ms. Howell, when the bill stopped the car in Van Street, you just testified you knew where the animals were. Yes. Because you were talking to Danielle and Angela. Yes. Now, you said you were there when Bill was talking to 911? Yes. You heard on that 911 call Bill say, I need an ambulance? Yes. Sounded like Bill was out of breath a little bit. Yes. You said when Riley got in the car, it looked like he might try to steal the car. Yeah. But he can't drive stick shift. Right. Do you know how to drive sticks, a stick shift? Yes. But Riley doesn't? No. Driving a stick shift can be hard, right? Yes. Harder than a manual or an automatic transmission. Yes. It's like extra pedals you need to press. Yes. One of them is a clutch. Yes. And sometimes if you press them in the wrong order, you can stall the vehicle out. Yes. And then the car can't go anywhere. Right. When you park the car, you put the parking brake on. Right. You testified at the beginning of the video, um, this doorbell video that we saw, when everyone's in front of the house with the doorbell, you testified Riley standing still. Right. But of course, Riley didn't just magically appear in that position, right? Right. He had come down from, you had seen him on School Street. Yes. And so at some point he came from School Street to where we saw him standing in the road. Yes. And so when you testified that he came running at the car, he came running down Van Street? Yes. And at some point he stopped? Yes. And we saw when he stopped, that's when Bill handed you the gun? Yes. 
And that's when I think we heard on there something about a taser. Yes. We think we heard Riley say, put down the taser. Yes. And Bill said, I'm not going to put it down. Yes. And then both of Bill and Riley started squaring off with each other. Yes. And at the very end, you testified you don't know if you were facing Riley or facing Bill at the end of that video. Right. But just seconds before, you weren't directly in the middle of Riley and Bill. Right. And when you weren't right between Riley and Bill, Bill still didn't have the gun pointed at Riley. I don't know. Well, we can back up that video just a few seconds. Sure. Sorry. Oh, <laughs> it's I'm sorry. fine. Which table? I have it off. Okay. Okay. Yeah, if we could just back up. So, Ms. Powell, at that point, you're not directly in the middle of Bill and Riley. Yeah. And so we still see that the flashlight is pointed towards the ground? Yes. And so if Bill had pointed it at Riley, he wouldn't be pointing it at you? No. I have nothing further. And even further, Ms. Ishwood? Just one question. When you talked to Danielle and Angela, did you have the phone on speaker? Yes. Because you can actually hear Bill on the call. He talked to them as well? Yes. I have nothing further. I assume nothing further? No. We will take a morning recess then.